Hey guys, Tracer here. I know I'm releasing a lot of YouTube content. I just got a lot to talk about at the moment, a lot of opinions on other things. And one of the people I've played with, Rini, she said my biggest advantage is that I can literally talk about anything and sound like an expert, okay? Now, what I'm going to talk about here is going to be trust issues, okay? Now, it's not going to be what you think it's about going to be, okay? Like you think you know about trust issues with people and stuff like that. I'm talking about like between... Actually, no, you know what? It probably is going to be about what you think it is, okay? Um, so trust issues. So basically this popped up because I saw someone talking about, I think it was Noelle DeRay. She's an amazing singer as well and also a great hairdresser and also plays a lot of Ori. And she was talking about trust issues, whether you, you don't know who to really trust after everything, whether they've got your best interest in mind or they're trying to use you to get fame. And this, you know, this obviously happens in a lot of Twitch mentality as well, where people will use other people to get some sort of fame. It can be perceived. So you've got to make two contracts. It can be perceived. So just remember that perceived where a person collabs with someone and becomes famous. So you don't know whether they're using that person or not. They can be perceived perceptions. So just always remember that, okay? And they can be actual, where basically the person gets high up and then, you know, these other guys just like, you know, see you later. I'll just hang out with these guys now, basically. And you never hear from the other guys ever again kind of thing. That's when you can say he may have used those people and stuff like that, or they may have moved on, you know? I want to talk about that. And obviously these words have some nuance in it. This is not black and white because some people, people can, you know, be, you know, benefit mutually and then they have a falling out and don't play with each other again you know it happens friends do go apart but this is the reason where, reason where trust comes in and trust has been a big issue for a lot of streamers because when they trust someone you're just a computer screen to them because they don't know who you are and they don't know if you're gonna stab them in the back three years down the track or something like that and you know they don't know you they don't interact with you on a daily basis i suppose and it's quite hard to get, you know, someone's full trust in it as well. Like even like, you know, even I talked to some streamers as well, you know, try to, you know, get them to collab with other streamers, stuff like that, help them out when they're feeling in a rut, stuff like that. You know, try to lend my, not my services. Like I'm not doing it for a service. I'm not doing it for a fee. I'm just trying to make sure everyone's happy and, you know, everyone doesn't feel like they're alone basically. And like, I even get these sort of things as well, where people just feel like um, that they don't trust me, that I'm just using them for something, even though I may not be, okay? Like, even though I may not be. And there's reasons for that. Like, one reason is basically sometimes people are trying to sell a product to bigger streamers for them to promote and they get money out of it, something like that. Or they get some personal benefit from them joining their server, basically, and stuff like that. And it can be perceived as that when you're, like, some no-name person and stuff like that, even though you may have the right intentions, you can be perceived as one of those people trying to use someone for their fame because... Uh, that by this time when the big streamer gets like 800, 900 viewers, stuff like that, they know they're going to see who's going to be legit there for them and who's just there for the fame. It gets to that period where you like, you know, fame person, not fame person, you know, stuff like that. Like, are they actually genuine or not? And that's what streamers kind of have to face. So you, you got to kind of realize that some people are money grubbing backstabbers in this fucking industry or streaming, okay? Like people like, I don't think, I don't, am I... Am I a good person, I'm not terribly too sure. Like, you know, I'm not terribly too sure. I've made some shit decisions to people. I've made some good decisions to people. I just say I'm normal. But there are backstabbers in the industry, obviously, and very, very harsh people and people who just operate on a very snakish and disgusting personality that are poor. And that's what puts the streamers in this kind of pseudonym where they can't trust people, but, like, you know, they can't fully trust people. That sort of way. So when, when you understand when your streamer doesn't want to like talk to you one-on-one -on -one or anything like that or doesn't answer a specific, specific question, it's not really insult at you, like when they don't fully trust you. It's more to protect themselves from, you know, from what they've experienced previously. And you got to just understand that sometimes it takes time and building a relationship. It's not always just overnight. And sometimes you're just perceived, you know, as someone not trustable and stuff like that at the same time. And you're just going to be like, Okay, that's pretty much it. You know, you can you can keep offering it and stuff like that. You keep trying to help them out. But if they don't take it, don't feel like you're owed anything. Okay? Probably words to live by. But yeah, the streamer... Let's get back to the streamer trusting her. Okay? So, like, with some of my mods, I trust my mods quite a bit. But there's obviously some information I don't trust my mods with. Okay? Because they shouldn't know. And I've expressed this um, issue with my mods as well. With some of the information they've given to me. And I tell them, be careful. I've told a lot of people to be careful as well. 
about you know revealing any information about personal wise or anything like that because i'm playing a risky game by revealing my real life name in the first place okay that's, that's risky um there's reason why there's trust issues with streamers we've all talked about the first one greedy backstabbing cunts who just use them for money and use them to make deals i mean your agents as well who are a bit scummy and some of them who are just legitimately good and once the streamer gets burned by one bad one it literally throws like you know a rat into every other relationship they have and a few people, few people have expressed that issue as well where they feel like they can't trust anyone and you guys got to understand what streamers have gone through and also you got to understand what people have gone through as well like you know sometimes someone has a bad relationship with a guy the next guy maybe have those insecurities projected on them despite the fact that the guy could be the best guy on the planet okay the shit happens okay and you're just gonna like if you want to take anything out of this little uh discussion i've had is that things happen things happen shit happens don't let it you know personally offend you as a person like as long oh i said that wrong just just remember that stuff happens and it can be perceived as something as, you, as you're not. And that things do take time. And sometimes you just fail, not because of what you've done or your intentions or anything like that. And, you know, stuff like that sometimes could be the other person. And the other thing as well, the main thing about this as well, when you provide or try to provide for someone something genuine, is that never expect anything in return. Okay. Unless it's a business contract, you need money, you got to get paid, stuff like that. You put some time and effort to organize something, but never ever expect anything in return from a genuine, you know, friendship gesture and stuff like that. Because if you do, and you play transactional relationships with people and treat people like transactions, you're going to end up like Arcadium. Okay, you're going to end up like Arcadium, and you're not going to have genuine friendships. You're going to have like shallow friendships that are just based on money, and. If you do that sort of transactional things where like, you know, oh, you did this for someone, you gave this person a hug, therefore they have to give you a hug, you're going to be a miserable piece of shit, okay? Because you're not doing it to help the other person. You are doing it because you want something out of it. And that's the difference between a gen being a genuine friend and being just a dickhead, okay? And you've got to kind of realize that as well. So basically what you're going to do is you don't treat your friends like transactions. And that's when you get the trust building up if you keep treat them as genuine people. And since the streamers have been dealing with people who treat them like transactions, it blurs the line because they're not sure what's a genuine friendship or the guy's going to just try to make a lot of money out of them as well on the side. And so people who are viewers and stuff like that, just understand that, you know, you, there's boundaries you've got to approach very, very carefully and understand at the same time, if the streamer doesn't want to answer your questions, offensive your questions or pretend they don't read it, just, just back off. If the streamer gives a clear hint that they don't want to talk about, just back off. Don't even mention it. Don't even hang on to it. The more you hang on to it, the worse it gets for you. And just remember, no one owes you anything. Be understanding. Be empathetic. And just be genuine in your actions. Even if it fails, just be like, okay, you know, they found something else. And there's been a lot of streamers that, you know, I've tried to advocate, like, hey, you know, you want to help this person out? You want to collab with this person? Hey, this person looks pretty awesome to collab. And one of them's done it before, which is awesome. And it ended up really, really well. But other times people just like don't respond to it. And I'm just like, oh, well, you know, given the option, they want to go do it, go do it. And yeah, you know, it's no, no skin of my nose because it's like they're allowed to approach different opportunities that are allowed to, okay? Like you got to let the people have freedom to do things as well. Otherwise, it, everyone's going to be miserable, including yourself, because you can't force people to do anything because eventually they're going to snap back and yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Like as well. If you want to hear more of my musings, subscribe and like. And yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.